Hello and welcome to this demo of the Big ID and Alter integration. In this demo we're going to go over automatically tokenizing data when it's classified as highly sensitive by Big ID. We're going to start here by creating this new table called mock data. And mock data has some sensitive fields in it like this account number, this email address field, and this social security number column. And we're going to insert some data into here. And this is all just fake data. We've got, you know, emails, social security numbers, and then as, as well as some other less sensitive fields like transaction dates. Um, so now we're going to go into Big ID and kick off a scan. We can do this here, and that'll classify our data for us. Uh, in the meantime, let's go take a look at our sensitivity classification page. We've got this default classification. It basically just maps uh, each classifier to a certain level of sensitivity. So in our high level of sensitivity, we've got emails, we've got uh, bank account numbers, we've got social security numbers. And as soon as that scan finishes, Alter will pick it up. So it looks like it's done. So Alter's probably already um, done with tokenization by now, but uh, we can go and check at our our object here. It's got a high sensitivity level, so meaning at least one of these columns here has classified as highly sensitive. Uh, and we can see that these classifiers have applied. So the email address is is identified as an email uh, and same for social security number and account number. And we'll go back uh, to our Snowflake worksheet and select this data and it should be tokenized. Yes, yeah, so here we've got all this data and account number and email and social security number is, is automatically tokenized. Um, so our, our highly sensitive fields have been picked up and tokenized by Alter automatically. In this demo, I'll show you how we can still use and control access to the tokenized data. Uh, so right now in this in this mock data table, we've got uh, some tokenized data. There we go. Um, so we see that account number is tokenized as well as email and social security number. And we can actually still use this data because these tokens are deterministic, meaning if I tokenize the same value multiple times, it'll return the same token each time. So if I tokenize the word Apple it, and it returns token one, two, three, every time I tokenize that word Apple, it'll return one, two, three, token one, two, three. Um, this is important because we can still use tokenized data for things like analytics. So for example, here, uh, we have a query that will get the number of transactions per account for the last 30 days. Um, so if we'll go ahead and run this and we can see that uh, for this account here, it's in the last 30 days, it has had six uh, transactions while the rest of them have had one. Um, so we can still operate on that tokenized data. Uh, but what if we need to have a role that can see the plain text data? Uh, we can add it, that role to a lock and alter. Any role that is added to a certain lock can see plain text data. So we can, I've already made one here uh, called show email as plain text. Um, and we can see that this data science role will be able to see email addresses. It'll detokenize. Uh, so we can switch over to that data science role and I'll show you that. So we're just gonna select here. And so when we're account admin, we selected here and saw tokens in this email column. But now that we're this data science role, we see uh, detokenized data, this plain text data. So uh, this brings up another question. What if I want to have a role uh, that has access to plain text data, but with a limit? Um, for example, this role data science needs 10 plain text email addresses per day to do their job. Uh, we can rate limit the amount of plain text that user can see using thresholds and alter. So we'll go over here and create a threshold. Let add new. And we'll call this uh, data science cap. And we'll set it to block every time the access rate is, let's say we can, they can access um, 10 a day. And we'll select our lock, select data science. There we go. And Snowflake Cloud integration and perfect. We've created this threshold. So now uh, I'll go ahead and select We'll, we'll say nine values using this role data science. And that should come back as plain text because that's under our threshold for the day. But if I go ahead and select uh, some more, uh, let's say we'll select 50. 
we get these tokens back. So that's how we can rate limit access to plain text data uh, using thresholds.